Hi guys! So many of you have been asking me how to stream and how to start streaming. Uh, although I've been streaming for like 2 plus years, but I call myself a basic tier streamer. Like I don't really go for like fancy setup or fancy everything. I'm just going for the most basic and beginning tier. Yeah, so here are some of my streaming setup. You can use it as, re as reference. Yeah, if you like. Okay, so first of all, I'm using Streamlabs OBS. You can actually download it on uh, Google for free. You can just Google Streamlabs OBS and yeah, you can download it. Download already, it will show like this. Okay, so this is the Streamlab OBS. I'm using I find that it is easier the interface is easier to interact with and I can actually link up everything easily yeah it's very easy for me la, I feel plus I've used other other um, streaming things but I feel that this is still the best for me and okay when you have when you just download it right uh, they have actually a settings for you to lock in your account uh, mine is linked to my Twitch. If you are streaming on Twitch, you can just link your Twitch or your Facebook or your YouTube because each and every of the stream des destination, right, is going to help on your uh next next step. Okay, so I mainly stream on Twitch only, so I log in my Twitch and like all my subscription and stuff are following the Twitch setup. So if you are on Facebook, they instead of like bits, it will change to like stars and stuff. Okay, and for the other things, oh, another important thing, you can actually edit on, edit your, okay, we, maybe we can go by step by step. For the general, I never really touch anything, so yeah, all these are my, uh, are my settings, you can just follow mine or use mine as reference. Stream really touch about it just now. Output, output, um, I'm not very sure about this also, but I'm following what my friends recommend me to. Uh, I think every computer have different different setup. So depending on what your computer can hold, you can try try googling or like try try it out for a first few stream. If it doesn't work for yours, you can just edit a bit. For I think it's mostly the bit rate and yeah, actually it's just the bit rate lah. Just need to edit the bit rate. We'll do. Yeah, if not, just follow the default one. And the default one will never go wrong. They already have it all set up for you. Oh, for the recording, right? Some of you will want to like um, record your videos while you're streaming. Yeah, this app help you to record while streaming. Or you can just do streaming without recording. Or you can just do record without streaming. Yeah, so it's very easy. Uh, remember to change your recording format to MP4. Because if you don't change it, right? The default one is going to give you a tough time trying to convert it back to mp4 for you to edit on your software or anything yeah mp4 this is very important and okay audio i didn't really um touch much about this as long as your audio uh your mic pick up and everything yeah it should be fine video mine it, it's just going to follow your resolution yeah mine is 1920 times 180 1080 <laughs> 1080 and fps 60 okay I can't edit it now because I'm recording this video. Yeah, yours should be able... So if you want to edit it, right? Edit before you stream. Yeah. Okay, hot keys. I didn't use this. Advanced. I didn't really change much of this also. Only for the uh, stream delay. This is where you add in your stream delay. If not, you can also add it on Twitch. Yeah, for Twitch, there is an uh, additional thing for you to add on. But I find it very troublesome for me. Uh, so I just add it all here. Yeah, you can enable or disable the stream delay. Every time you want to stream, you can just set it before the stream. Okay, all this, the rest I didn't really touch at all. All are default. Okay, so basically you are done for the first step. Very easy, right? <laughs> okay, and the scenes that you can see that I have a lot of scenes here, but it's okay. Slowly we'll uh, get a hang of it. It's easy for me to add scenes because like this, right? Like example, I have relevant scene. I have, uh, this is the scene that I'm teaching you. Yeah, and like intermissions. So if I'm playing different games, I can just change it to any scene easily without trying to add the source, like wasting a lot of time. Yeah, it's just one click away. Okay, so you can just create one scene first for your first time using. And 
on the sauces, the sauces are for you to add in like all the overlays here. For now, I already have my webcam add on for and actually the screen screen capture. Okay, basically you can just add in your screen capture, webcam, and gameplay. That's all. Yeah, and all these three basic ones. Okay, now game capture. You can see that there are a lot of sources for you to add in. You can just slowly play around with it, like image. If you have any image like you want to add beside your webcam, or if you don't have a webcam, you can actually put a fixed image down there to to show to your stream viewers. Okay. Yeah, image slide slideshow. Okay, game game capture. Now I add in a game capture. As you can see, I already have a lot of game captures here. But for now, I want to show you. I just add a new source. Every time you want to add something new, you just need to mark this. Okay, I just need to make game capture one. Eh? Add source. Uh, you can actually choose the auto mode, which is the game that you already launching, or uh, capture capture a specific window. Right now, I want to capture Valorant. Okay. So you can like choose from here, Valorant, okay. And all these I didn't really touch, so you don't really have to touch it. Lah. If your game, if your if your um Valorant is like mine, is stretched, you can just right click on it, transform, fit to screen. Okay. But for now I want to show you how to add more things. So let's go back to our uh, OBS. And for beginners, you if you are streaming, you would want like um a goal, maybe a follower or donation goal. Everything is here, like very simple, like alert box. Since they say essential, okay, let's add this first. Alert box. Alert box is like when people follow you and stuff, then you get alert. Okay, let let's add a new source. Alert box add source. Like what are the alerts you want to be alerted on? Like I want to be alert on like bids, donations, somebody subscribe to me, follow. Okay, all this, I mark it. And okay, let's add. Actually, they already have all inbuilt in. So you just need to add in. Don't have to change much of the settings. Okay, now I already have it. Let's test. You can click on this test. A follow. Okay, somebody just followed me. Yeah. And a subscription. You can actually change the GIF and it's and wordings on the stream labs website. Okay, and next we can add in. For me, I have um actually an event list. Event list is like something like this, like uh they show the recent events that you have after the alert. So maybe for my event list, I want to show follow subscription resub. Uh, yeah, host, this, basically everything, uh, okay. Just add, and I drag it to the bottom. Yep, so this will be the latest. Uh, you can adjust how many alerts you want it to be. How many events you want it to be. I add, I place like four events. Yeah, latest four events. So like somebody subscribe to me. There is an alert, and also on the event list. Or a donation. Yeah, there's an alert, and on the adding on like pushing up and stuff and it now you can add in a goal like a donation goal okay, source, new zero zero. Goal, add. okay now this is my current goal i can actually end it you can adjust it anytime you want it from here so maybe my title is um streaming set up goal will be hundred dollars starting amount zero because nobody donated yet and maybe, uh, yeah, 31st, 31st September. Oh, don't have September 31st. Okay, start. Yep, and the donation goal will be shown here. You can just display any anywhere you like. Yeah, that's it. Uh, for the sources, right, you need to put the top most layer on top. And the bottom layer on at the bottom. For example, right, my webcam, I need it to be on top of my game capture and display capture. Like for now, you can see that my game capture is at the bottom. That's why you are not seeing my Valorant. Uh, but if I move it up, yeah, it's overlap. It's overlapping the display capture. I can just move it around. Okay. 
for so for alert box event list and donation go everything needs to needs to be on top like very top so that uh you'll be alert okay example if i put the alert box below my game below my screen capture if somebody follows right i can't see it you see somebody followed but i can't see it. so you have to move it to the most top most top yeah now i can see it Okay, so these are the basic steps that you need and you're ready, ready to go. If you want to go live, right, you can just click on go live and test it out. Let's go. You can just change your title and stuff here. And choose the game like I'm playing Valorant. Yep, it's here. Tag. Usually I don't really add tags. Huh? Okay, and you can go live. That's all. Very simple step. So... If you want to know more about how to stream and how to uh, stream on Twitch and stuff, click like and subscribe to my channel. Next time, I will show more details about it. Okay, that's all for the simple step on how to start streaming. Okay, hope you like the video and thank you. Bye-bye.